Hi, my name is Louise Brakey from Brakey & Co and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to choose the right estate agent for you. The best agent for you is going to be the agent that you're able to trust and guide you through the process. A few indicators of a good agent are industry qualifications and professional memberships. All members are required to work to agreed codes of practices and the relevant membership logo will be displayed in their offices. You can check on the Trade Body website to ensure the agent is a member if you've got any doubts at all. Now, as part of being a professional and holding membership, one of the areas those agents need to focus on is training. They always have to maintain a minimum standard of training with their staff. And the reason for this is they need to know that their staff are up to date with the latest skills. All member agents will also be part of a redress scheme. So if you've got a complaint about your estate agent and you're not happy with it and you can't come to some sort of an agreement, then you can refer to the redress scheme and they will give impartial advice and come to some sort of a conclusion for you. An estate agent always has to maintain a professional approach because obviously it's their reputa reputation that's at stake. And finally, your agent needs to have a strong local presence Knowing the local market will get you the best price for the property and you, if your agent's got a strong local presence, this will help reach the maximum number of buyers. Sold boards locally will demonstrate what they have sold along with a comprehensive website and also portal listings. A professional agent will know how to make a positive impact with buyers and sellers alike for you. If your agent creates a poor impression with you, then the chances are they'll do exactly the same with any potential buyer. This also applies to their website and also their online presence. So if it doesn't work well for you, then it's not going to work well for you for your buyer. Your agent is, an import, is really important to you. And if you don't believe that they're going to do a good job or you don't feel that like they're trustworthy, then they're probably not the agent for you. As with most professional services, a recommendation from a neighbour or friend is a great endorsement of an agent's services. I always suggest speak to friends or neighbours or relatives and ask them have they used um, a particular agent's services. They're not going to lie to you. They're going to tell you exactly the truth, what's and all. Um, but it's always best to know before you head into anything. Have a look online at Google. Google do have quite a lot of uh, ratings. And the good beauty about Google is there's good and bad ratings on there as well. I would always recommend picking a short list of two agents and what they should do is give you a sample of the work along with their marketing recommendations for your property and at that point you can take time to compare what services each agent has to offer. Of course, what they're going to charge you is a key point. However, please remember that the cheapest agent and the best agent are not the same and using pro pro professionals for each part of the process will make sure that you get maximum exposure on, exposure on your property and you will get maximum price for your property. Making a mistake could be expensive and very time consuming. I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any other queries, please do give me a call. Thanks for watching. Thank you and good.